very good morning very good afternoon very good evening everyone guys i hope that all of you are doing well and i hope that all of you are doing great guys so guys let's just start with this today's webinar before we start uh, let me introduce myself my name is deepak i'm one of the lead instructor uh, in idreka for this uh, program and uh, today we are going to uh, start with this webinar so guys this is a today's agenda so today we will be talking about what are angular forms need for validation in angular different types of validation we have template driven form validation reactive form validation and what is custom validator so these are the all things that we will be covering uh, in this today's session now guys what are angular forms now an angular form is typical html form with few extra features which is used to provide user input even from the view now it can be direct or indirect as well now like for example you are going to create your google account you know i mean you are going to provide the information so you can either uh, store those uh, data either on the cloud or either on the on premises so you can just you know create their entire um, you know i mean instances and you're going to get the entire information up over there now these are the three type of controls you can have which is uh, form control which is required for each input field you're going to have a radio button you must have seen that selections like the radio button that you can choose so either it can be a radio button or either it can be you know a form group where um you know it it's uh, just a group of form control objects wherein you have to work on a, you know i mean the data that you are going to see on the screen now uh, why we need validation in angular now for example guys if i will say that uh, you must have logged in to your gmail account or something now why exactly uh, you need a validation on that the reason why we need validation because if i'm going to send a data to you i mean uh, we need to have a way with the help of which we can be sure that you know i mean this data was accurate this this data that we have received i mean uh, it's right or not so we need a proper way so that is the reason we are going to validate with the help of validation uh, it is going to help you to know that like whatever the data uh, that uh, you uh, you have received is it as per the standard input like the standard value that you are looking for like for example if i'm going to say that password is going to be enter for only 10 digits so with the validation is going to be checked and validated that it's going to be for 10 digits or not so that is the reason you need validation now this is a small example where you can see that uh, you need a validation just to make sure that as per your security posture every, everything is working as expected like um, you know i mean if you want to prevent a form from making a changes if you want you know i mean to websites uh, you know i mean from the data leaks so for all such kind of things you need a validation in the angular so that you are being you know protected from the applications now there are different type of validations that you can have now you can have a uh, validations in uh, forms like it's going to be either a template driven or it's going to be a reactive form so you are going to have validation in either of the forms so i mean either i can create a template uh, you know a simple very simple template and at the same time you will be able to uh, work on it and at the same time i mean if a template is not going to be required i can simply create a form and with the help of which i will be able to do the you know entire work i will be able to do that entire validation as well so wherein you are going to have um, you know entire clarity now talking about validation form so here the entire end goal of this uh, form so i would say the entire end goal of this validation is just to make sure that uh, everything is working as expected i mean nothing has been changed uh, everything uh, is working like whatever the kind of requirement that you are going to have everything is basically working as as expected so that exactly is the entire um, you know end goal so wherein you want to make sure that uh, like whatever the kind of uh, changes that you have made all all such kind of things has been done and uh, everything is working as as expected and nothing has been changed so far so that is the entire end goal now uh, like you can see it's going to look like that where you are going to have a small form small interface where you are going to make sure that i mean uh, each and everything within the given environment is exactly working as expected or not plus uh, you are going to have different type of uh, forms uh, so here in this case like you can have a validate validating reactive forms so whatever the kind of form that you are going to have the validation is going to be done automatically so you are going to have validation forms uh, plus at the same time you are going to have validated template driven forms so either of the form uh, is going to be there the only major difference is that uh, the validating is synchronous where the, the other one is asynchronous plus uh, at the same time um, you know your uh, validating getting forms are basically dependent on the functions and the other one is majorly dependent on the directives in the case of uh, template driven like here in this case you can see if you want to add a validation to template driven you can simply add the validation attributes like for example if my data type is going to be integer so it's it's going to tell you that uh, if, you know if that is integer or not so 
temporal driven is actually going to tell you that whatever the kind of input values that you have supplied, I mean, it's taking those values or not. At the same time, temporal driven is also going to help you that, um, you know, whatever the kind of uh, different values that you have provided, it's, it's there or not. So like here in this case, you can simply add the entries and it's going to issue the data as per the entries that you have provided. But in the case of reactive form, uh, you can even change the fields and you are going to have a pop-up at below. Like for example, here in this case, you can see, I mean, you are going to have a validation form which is coming at the end, at the bottom. So instead of adding the validated two attributes, you are going to have it directly. So either it can be asynchronous, which is going to make the order directly, or it's going to be asynchronous. Now there's a third term, which is a custom validator. Now, instead of performing validation on the entire thing, you are just going to perform a validation on the custom thing, like some of the you know common components that you are going to have. So instead of making validation on all the things, you're just you're simply going to do a validation on few components. Thank you everyone for your time, guys. Wishing all of you a great day ahead. Bye-bye. Take care.